Students take tests for paired or unpaired samples in Jamuvi. Student take tests for paired or dependent or related samples in Jamuvi. Student take test is or the paired T test is a parametric test that can be used when there are two samples or two groups of data that are related or paired and to perform the test certain assumptions have to be fulfilled. The first assumption is that the data in each group is normally distributed. The second assumption is that the data should be continuous. And the third assumption is that the difference between the pairs is approximately normally distributed. And finally, this difference does not have outliers in it. And the objective of this test is to find out whether there is a difference between the two paired groups. Here in Jamuvi data view, I had placed a data for 50 participants and the aims of this research study is to investigate the effect of a new drug in uh, on lowering the systolic blood pressure so we have here two variables each participant was participated in the two measurement or reading at a time of zero when the drug was not given the systolic blood pressure was measured uh, and that variable is called untreated then the same participant were given the drug and the systolic blood pressure was measured so each participant were uh, measured uh, for systolic blood pressure at two different time point or condition on the zero time of no drug and then after uh, administrating the drug so here we have pre-treatment post treatment and to find out whether there is a, a difference between the systolic blood pressure for the treated compared to untreated then the paired T test will be performed as we have here paired data and the way to do that in Jamuvi is to click on t-test icon here scroll down and select the paired samples t-test and your window will appear and we're going to move the two variables the paired variable into the box here in the right hand side and uh, promptly a table for paired sample t test is generated uh, showing that uh, the student t test the statistic value is a 3.74 and the test is uh, done for the two variables degree of freedom 49 and the p value is less than 0.05 so this data shows that there is a difference between the post-treatment compared to pre-treatment. We could also add additional statistics by ticking on the mean differences and the confidence interval 95% and uh, these additional values are added to the table here the paired t test the mean difference is equal to 8.1 so that mean uh, the systolic blood pressure is reduced by 8.1 um, and the standard error difference is 2.16 and the confident 
95% confidence interval have a lower and an upper value and the lower value is 3.75 and the upper 12.4 and the mean difference is falling between these two values and the value for the upper and lower is not crossing the zero value so this add additional layer of confirming that there is a statistical significant difference between the treated and and untreated we could also add to the output a descriptive table and this descriptive table shows that there are 50 participant the mean for the untreated for systolic blood pressure is 154 and for treated is 146 which means that the treated or the drug has lowered the systolic blood pressure uh, compared to untreated standard deviation is also given here and standard error we could also take on the descriptive plot here as shown for the untreated and treated it shows the mean and the median mean is circular and the median is square we could also take the assumptions for normality test which is shown here that the p-value is greater than 0.05 this shows that the uh, difference between the untreated and treated is normally distributed as the p-value is greater than 0.05 we could also take on the qq plot to generate a qq plot showing that the uh, small circles a line uh, uh, along the diagonal line student t test for unpaired or unrelated or independent samples in jamuvi the student t test is a parametric test that is performed when there are two groups of data and the two set of data are normally distributed and the uh, variance is, is equal or approximately equal for both those are the two assumptions or the main assumptions that are required to do t-test the data has to be continuous and normally distributed and the variance for both groups are approximately similar then the test can be used to find out whether there is a difference between the two groups here in jamuvi data view i had inserted a data for a hundred participant there are two groups of participant gender um, which has males and females in it so there is one variable which is categorial and it has two levels in it males and females and a continuous variable which is the height the height of each participant were measured in centimeters and the score is recorded here so there are two groups here the male group and the female group and the height in each individuals are measured so these two groups are separate they are independent they are unrelated unpaired to find out whether there is a difference in the height between males and females then the unpaired student t test will be performed to do the analysis click on the icon for analysis then select the icon for t test and then select independent sample t test a new window appears here going to move the gender 
which is a grouping variable into the grouping variables and the continuous variable which is the dependent variable the height variable into this box simultaneously an independent sample t test is performed and a table is generated showing the student t test statistic value 4.5 and a degree of freedom 98 and a p-value of less than 0.001 this p-value is significant as it is less than 0.05 to add further an additional statistics to the output of the jamovi tick on the mean difference and then tick on the confidence interval and as shown here the mean difference is given here and it is a value of nine so there is a difference between the two set of groups male and females and the standard error difference is given here also here uh, added the 95 percent confidence interval which is another uh, value that add more uh, uh, confirmation to the analysis it has a lower and an upper value of 5.06 and an upper of 12.9 and the mean difference fit within this range so this again confirmed that the observed difference in the mean is significant to add further description we could tick on the descriptive statistics from the descriptive statistics table the height for male and female and the number of the participant is shown here the mean for the male for the height is 169 and for female is 160 so it's already shown that the males are taller than females and also the median is higher for males compared to females and a standard deviation is given here which is 10.5 and 9.2 and a standard error also we could also tick on the descriptive plot to generate a descriptive plot for the two groups male and females and the mean and the median as shown in this plot we could also uh, select the welch test if we think that the two groups have an unequal variances then we stick to use the welch test otherwise we stick with the original observation or calculations here as a welch test is calculated and it gives similar values we could also take the man whitney u test when the data are not normally distributed but in our case here the data are normally distributed by how by checking uh, and ticking on the assumption check here if we take on the normality test we can see here that uh, uh, a test of shapiro welk is performed for the height and it shows that the p-value is greater than 0.05 and this indicate that the data are normally distributed we could also take for uh, uh, homogeneity of variances um, or uh, what we call it uh, Levin's test here Levin's test and also the Levin's test table generates shows a factor of 0.76 and a p-value of greater than 0.05 which indicates that there is homogeneity of uh, variances and the uh, two variances for both groups are approximately similar we could also tick on the qq plot and generate a qq plot which shows that the circles here fit uh, along the side the uh, diagonal line so from this output we can uh, conclude that there is a significant difference between the tallness of the males compared to females 
and the females uh, are shorter than males and this observation is statistically significant 